Hey, what is going on everybody? This is Lois back with another Adobe tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'll be discussing Lightroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my Lightroom on iPhone. And this is what you see when you start up app, okay? So to go to the menu, you can slide your finger from left to right to open that menu. Here you got a few options. I will explain them in a second. You can get a menu from LR, from tapping LR. So you it will open the menu as well so in the menu you can select if you want to sync over Wi-Fi only you can turn it on you can auto add photos from a photo library here you can auto add videos from your photo gallery you can show touches let's say if I touch anything on the screen now it's showing the red circle right this is because I've selected that show touches so and here you got a few metadata and about Lightroom and help options here down below it's showing you your usage for your iPhone let's open a picture so I've got two options down below camera roll and a camera right to open a picture from photos app from iPhone tap on camera roll here you see all your photos available in your photos app okay so i'm gonna cancel that let's see the camera app first okay so in the camera app we got few more options compared to default iphone camera app so i've got my flash option i can turn it on off or auto i've got some white balance i can keep that auto or i can change i'm gonna keep my auto balance automatic here you can increase or decrease the brightness as well and the next we got some grading option okay so you can apply the grid as well so i'm gonna turn it off next we got timers so down here i've got some presets available for the camera so i can just select warm shadow high contrast black and white i'm gonna go and apply none let's go back to the app now i'm gonna open one of the image from my photo app from iphone i'm going to explain features in lightroom now okay so down i've got three options crop presets and edit okay let's have a look at the crop first so tap on the crop this is very basic to apply the crop you just tap on any of the corner and just drag and just leave when you're happy with the crop okay so right now i'm on a free crop okay so i can change the aspect ratio so if you want to keep five by seven it's going to auto adjust so now if i select the corner and just drag it is going to keep that aspect ratio okay so i'm happy with that crop now to apply the crop just tap on a tick mark it's going to apply that okay so let's go back and then open the image again let's go to the cropping option so here aspect ratio is it was locked so i can make them free and now i can just drag where i want and it's up to me the way i want to crop now i'm going to make it locked and i'm going to select the preset to original okay next we got auto straighten so you can apply auto straightening to your images orientation you can flip your image horizontally and flip vertically as well or you can just apply a rotation by 90 degrees okay so next we got the reset option so any changes you make in this app and you're not happy about it you can always reset that okay so i'm going to accept that by tapping on this tick mark okay let's go to the presets now so tap on the presets now here i've got creative filters okay so these are basically generic filters available in other adobe apps and other photo editing apps as well so let's see how many filters we got so i've got my creative filter list here black and white cross press one okay so i'm just gonna go and reset that well you can undo if you want to just go back to the previous step so tap here to get back next we got colors so dynamic cool high contrast okay so i'm gonna select this punch one okay and then we got black and white filters well you can call it presets okay and we've got detailed okay so you can apply detailed let's say if we're gonna add a clarity okay so tap on this high clarity it's gonna make your picture a bit sharp okay so i'm gonna go and apply some noise reduction and next we got effects so in effects i've got blur vignette with grain heavy so just gonna select vignette medium okay so this is what we have right now okay so if you slide your thing if you slide this menu bar to the right you've got some camera filters as well so these are the camera filters were available in this lightroom app as well so you can always reset as well let's go to the edit mode now so the edit mode if you tap on this icon you get to choose basic tone curve vignetting split toning color white balance and dehaze okay so i'm going to select the basic the next option we've got a black and white so if you want to change your image straight away to the black and white you can just tap here 
white balance is available here you can select auto custom and as shot temperature you can apply temperature or decrease temperature so i'm going to turn off the black and white so we can look at the picture okay so got tint next apply the tint auto turn available there exposure contrast highlights shadow and whites a lot of options available here so if you want to apply some clarity so you can always go and apply so i'm going to just decrease the clarity to make my picture a bit blurry it looks a bit better for the portrait okay so i'm just gonna decrease the clarity now saturation decrease the saturation to make it black or white i'll just keep that okay so i'm happy with that let's go and tap here and then go to tone curve okay so here you got the curve if any of you are watching this tutorial um you might be familiar with toning option in desktop photoshop so this is pretty much the same thing so you can just tap in the image and just slide your finger up and down to apply the toning it's basically applying your this is your mid-tone this is your darks and lights options available here so i'm going to go and select lights increase and decrease the lights as well and we got a few more options just play around with them you'll be fine okay so next one we got vignetting which is really cool i like it about so i'm going to increase the vignetting it's going to apply a white effect on the corners apply mid-tone a little bit up and feathering a little bit more styles available there color priority or you can paint overlay so you can paint it as well you can overlay the same color okay so let's go to the next option split toning so split toning is basically these are all um, highlight hue saturation balance and all those options so in any of the editing mode you will go and you will find those options there okay so let's say if i'm in a color and white black and white okay so right now i'm on hue saturation luminance okay so if i want to apply saturation so tap on saturation now it will select all of these colors will increase or decrease the saturation so let's say if we want to get rid of the reddish okay so i can drag it to the right Okay, it's going to apply more saturation just to red color if you decrease that it's going to just um, it's going to try removing that red color from the image so let's say if i want to remove the orange as well so basically these two colors we have in this image so that's why it's just making it black and white as you can see that the hair color is still there so just going to bring them back tap here to reset that okay so i'm just going to bring them back Next we got luminance. Okay, so next option we got dehaze. So we got a few dehaze here as well. You can apply dehaze. Okay, so now to accept those changes, what do you do? Just tap at the back and then it will automatically save that. Okay, so now to save that image to camera roll, tap and hold. And here I've got my sharing option, save this to camera roll. If you want to open into any other application on your phone, if you have installed Photoshop, mix or Photoshop um, fix. It will open that into those application and you can add it so if i tap here so it's going to give me all my applications so if you want to take this to google drive whatsapp for sharing and i can see my copy to photoshop fix copy to photoshop mix and copy to photoshop express so some of the features are only available in lightroom and some of the extra features you don't have in a lightroom so what do you do you take this image to other application and make edits there and you got to copy to any other collection so let's go back to our main menu and i can tap on this plus sign and make another collection let's say my edits tap on this cross line to get rid of that text my edits okay and then tap on okay so this is another collection we have now so i can just go to this and then tap and hold and copy to my edits and tap on this tick mark and then as you can see now if you go back it's going to add that image to my edits now i'm going to go and open that to see the details of the image tap with two fingers here we've got the same options you don't have to tap and hold just tap here and then you will see add photos copy to move present share all those options available here all right so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial give this video a thumbs up and i'll talk to you guys in the next tutorial